In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about user management and running reports and taking a look at activity your students or users have taken inside of the system. In this demonstration, we're going to use the Pennsylvania Career Zone, one of headed to's national deployments. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Manage tab and click on Manage Users. On the screen, you'll see all the users that you currently have under management. Now, if you're a teacher who is a manager in the system but do not have any students showing at this point, what you'll want to do is send a, uh, a management request to the students that you will be managing. And the way you'll do that is by clicking the user with the plus icon, finding the magic link, and copying it by clicking here, and then sending that link to the users that you'll take under management. When the user approves your request uh, for management, then you, they will appear in your list here under Manage Users. Now let's imagine that there's a student named Jost who you are managing. His name is Jost, and we're going to pull him up, and we want to see his individual activity inside the Career Zone or Career Explorer. You see him here listed. He's actually a part of two groups. What we want to do this time is actually see what he's done inside the system. And we're going to do that by clicking on the gray document icon and then selecting View Profile Report. Under the Profile Report, we are going to see all the activity that he's completed. He's done the Skills Profiler, the Work Importance Profiler. He has not completed the Interest Profiler. And these were some of his results. As we scroll down, we'll see what his top clusters are the occupation matches, and how high an index uh, he has in terms of compatibility, flagged items, things that he's interested in, his uh, lesson plans and his progress against those lesson plans, his career plans and his progress against those, uh, as well as journals, uh, budgets that he's created, and at the very bottom, the files that he saved to his career hub. So pretty much every bit of information that you'll want on an individual student is going to be found inside of the profile summary report. If you want to uh, print this report, you can select the printer icon here, or you can save this uh, PDF as a, a piece of evidence if that's required uh, to your user's files itself. Now, if we close this, and we'll unselect Joss so we can just see the whole group again. If we want to run a report on all of our students or all the students within a group, we can do that too. The group reports we found here at the bottom under common reports. If I click dashboard report, this is going to run a report on all the students that I have under my management and then the different activities within the system and where they are. If there's a hash mark, it basically means that they haven't started the activity. If there's a green dot, it means that there is at least one plan in this case that has been completed. Uh, if you see a yellow dot, which we'll see here, you can see that that's uh, an activity that's in progress but not yet completed. This is another report that can be printed, but can also be exported to Excel, CSV, or XLS. So that's a little bit about uh, management. You can look for more videos on other aspects of the system inside this channel.